Internal wrangles and hostility within the National Resistance Movement Youth Wing has for weeks shaken the very foundation of the party, further widening the already existing cracks. At the center of these disagreements are those that are against the Changkwanzi resolution, fronting President Museveni as the sole candidate for the NRM in the 2016 polls. In fact, a section of these youth were seen pushing for the Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi's alleged agenda to stand against his boss, while a separate wave were championing the endorsement for President Museveni. Since then, the NRM youth have been top on agenda for President Museveni, calling for consistent meetings at State House in Entebbe. Recently, the party chairman met the NRM youth from northern Uganda, followed by Monday's meeting with those from the central region. Those from the east and western region are on schedule next month. But why would President Museveni reach out to these youth amidst his busy schedule? Political commentator and journalist Charles Bichachi views Museveni's meeting with the youth as a move to concretize his political motives. A lot of youth have been identifying with the Prime Minister because the Prime Minister has set up structures of the party and he has been interfacing more with the youth. So right now, for the president to take over, to dismantle the structures of the prime minister that he had built, presumably for his presidential ambition, he must take away the youth because they were the ones driving that agenda. So the president must debunk that and show that I am here and you are part of my team. But as the clock ticks to 2016, political science scholar and senior lecturer at Makere University, Professor Julius Kiza, believes Museveni's interests in the youth is a tool to have them under his control. A substantial proportion of the youth are unemployed. So the statistics indicate that over 60% of Uganda's youthful population, aged between 14 years and 38 years, are out of formal employment. Now, now that is a problem for anybody in power or anybody competing for political office. It, because, it's a problem because the, the youth can readily be mobilized into violent behaviors. They can become sources of violence, sources of criminal activities. Since many of these youth are unemployed, their drive to meet the president could very well be rooted in money, an issue that Professor Kiza says has been shaped by President Museveni. The best thing is to say, how can we address the fundamental obstacles to youth empowerment? How can we address the question of the death of cooperatives? and be able to revitalize the cooperative movement, which was a source of money that paid tuition for the youth. How can we address the question of infrastructure, which connects producing areas, areas that produce wealth, to markets, which lubricates the process of development? The reason How? being that creating jobs for the youth will come through structural transformation of the economy, not handouts. Professor Kiza says, the energetic nature of the youth also resonates well with Museveni's political capital, especially during the electoral campaigns. Bichachi shares the same sentiments with Professor Kiza, emphasizing that Museveni's efforts to keep the youth close means keeping them at arm's length from the opposition. The youth are also the, the army of the opposition, so to speak. They are the ones who have the energy to run around on the street. They are the ones who can engage uh, in political battles on the streets and also in terms of mobilization. So the president must get them away from the youth by showing them that he takes them seriously, that they are part of his strategy for the future. So that battle between the opposition to hold the youth is what Museveni is trying to win at this time. Whether the frequent meetings between President Museveni and the youth will have an impact to Museveni's 2016 presidential ambitions is not the question, but at what price? Solomon Serwanja, NTV.